Hey everyone, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix the app not opening on your iPhone. You want to follow these steps to quickly fix it. First thing is you're going to pull down that control menu or pull it up, put your phone in airplane mode, and then turn it off. And that does a quick network refresh. Really important to make sure you have a good, strong internet connection, especially apps, most of the ones that require internet access. Now, after you have done that, let's say an app you're trying to open up won't open. What you want to do is just swipe up so you can see the apps that are open and force quit it by just swiping up like that. So just swipe up on that specific app that won't open and try to open it up again and that should go ahead and open it for you. Now if that didn't work for you, the next thing you're going to go ahead and do is check if there's an update for the app. So for you to check that, all you're going to do is go to the app store and then search up that app or click on your profile up top here. And then here it will show all of the apps on your iPhone that needs an update or has an update. For example, if I have Instagram issues not opening up, I will click on that update and let that app update accordingly. And while it's updating, you're going to wait till the update is complete. It will download and install it. And once it downloads and installs the latest update, you're going to try to go ahead and open it again. And that should do it. Now let's say the update isn't working. The next thing you're going to want to go ahead and do is simply do this method I'm going to show you. We're going to quickly press and release volume up, volume down, and then hold on to this side button until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo appears. So I'll do volume up, volume down, and then I hold down this side button just like this. And I'm going to wait for the screen to go completely black before we let go of that side button. As you can see, I'm holding down, and then I just wait until I see the Apple logo before I let go. And this is known as a force restart, which basically shuts down the phone software and then reloads the code. The data on your phone still will be there. It will not delete anything. And if it doesn't work the very first time, keep on trying. This method does work. Again, you're going to do volume up and volume down, one after another, before holding down that side button. And once you're back on the phone, go ahead and try to open up the app. Now, if it's still not working, the next thing to do is go into your setting and then go to general and the software update. And then you're going to update your phone if there's an update available. My phone is already up to date here, so I don't have to do it. But if you see an update, just go ahead and download the latest update and install it. Now, let's say you did the update and it's still not working. The next thing to do is just simply delete and reinstall the app. So let's say you're having issues with the app itself, right? For example, if I had issues with TrueCaller, I would just long press and hold, remove app, delete app, delete, and then just go over to the App Store and then search for that app again in the search bar here, and then reinstall the app like this. And what that does is make sure that the app, if you're having issues with it, will go ahead and fix that. Now, once you have done that, hopefully it is working. If it's not working, another thing you also want to check out is in your setting here, go to general and then click on iPhone storage up here. You want to make sure you have at least, I would say, a couple gigs available here. So if you're maxed out on your storage, here it'll show you how much storage you're using. So I'm using 41 gig out of 128 available on this phone. Let's say I'm close to that. 128 gig, I need to delete some other app because some app requires a specific amount of storage in order to open up properly. So you want to go ahead and do that. And let's say you're still having issues with it. The next thing to do is in your settings, just go to general and then scroll down, transfer reset iPhone, click on that. We're going to do a reset and we're going to reset all settings themselves. When you reset all settings, it will not delete any of your data, just the settings themselves. And once you do that, you might have a security delay, which you might have to wait for if you have this turned on. If you don't, you can just reset it right away. And once you reset it, again, it will not delete any of your data. It will go ahead and fix the issues with the app that you're having. And that's how you fix it. I hope this video was helpful. If so please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone. We'll see you guys next time.